Welcome to GuideMe.io, let's learn, VBScript, Array Functions. Instructions, to play this tour in your browser download GuideMe.io plugin from www.guideme.io, you can also publish your own tours using GuideMe. Step 1, what is an array? Sometimes we want to hold more than one value in a single variable at a time. When a series of values are stored in a single variable, then it is known as array variable. Step 2, what is array functions and VB script provided array functions? VB script provide us some bit in array functions. This functions help us to manage and handle the arrays effectively. Here we shows the built-in VB script array functions. We will discuss all those function in detail in next steps. Step 3, how to declare array in VBS. An array declaration is very similar to a variable declaration. First a type is given for the elements of the array, then an identifier for the array and, within square brackets, the number of elements in the array. The number of elements must be an integer. Here we show the declaration of array in three way. Point one, without size array declaration two, array declaration with their size three, using array parameter or built in array function. Step four, how to assigning values to an array. The values are assigned to the array by specifying array index value against each one of the values to be assigned. It can be a string. In this example, we show how to assign the value to one dimensional array, and similarly, you can assign value to multi dimensional array. Step 5 L bound function. The L bound function returns the smallest subscript for the indicated dimension of an array. The L bound for any dimension is always zero. Dot syntax L bound array name dimension. Step 6 U bound function. The uBound function returns the largest subscript for the indicated dimension of an array. Syntax, uBound, array name dimension. Step 7, filter function. The filter function returns a zero based array that contains a subset of a string array based on a filter criteria. If no matches of the value parameter are found, the filter function will return an empty array. If the parameter input strings is null or is not a one dimensional array, an error will occur. Syntax, filter, input strings, value, include, compare, please read the comments for more detail about syntax. Step 8, split function. The split function returns a zero based, one dimensional array that contains a specified number of substrings. Syntax, split, expression delimiter count compare, for more info about syntax please read the comment that is shown here. Step 9, is array function. The isArray function returns a boolean value that indicates whether a specified variable is an array. If the variable is an array, it returns true, otherwise, it returns false. Syntax, isArray, variable. Step 10, join function. The join function returns a string that consists of a number of substrings in an array. Syntax, join, list delimiter. Step 11, erase function. The erase function is used to reset the values of fixed size arrays and free the memory of the dynamic arrays. It behaves depending upon the type of the arrays. Syntax, erase array name 1, fixed numeric array, each element in an array is resetted to 0.2, fixed string array, each element in an array is resetted to 0 length.3, array of objects, each element in an array is resetted to special value nothing. Step 12 visit golearningbus.com for more www.vbsedit.com training. Visit golearningbus.com for more www.vbsedit.com guided tours and training. For only $10 you can access more than 300 apps for a lifetime of learning and training. Thank you for watching GuideM Tour, visit guideme.io for more tours, download GuideM plugin and publish your own tours. Send your feedback at team at wagmob.com.